Hi, I'm Ben from Max Mobility, and today I'm going to show you how to attach a clamp to the axle of a rigid frame wheelchair. First, you'll want to verify that you have the correct clamp for the wheelchair you are attaching the smart drive. There are two sizes of axle clamps used for the range of axle or camber tube diameters on all wheelchairs, a large and a standard clamp. The large clamp is needed for wheelchairs with an axle tube diameter 1.5 inches or 38 millimeters up to 2 inches. But a majority of the time, the standard axle clamp will be used as it's able to attach to diameters 1 and 3 eighths inches or 36 millimeters and smaller. Now you want to verify that you have the correct clamp front for the rear wheels of the wheelchair. This is important because you want to be sure to orient the drive unit at the correct angle for ideal traction during use. Each clamp is labeled on the T-extrusions with either a 24, 25, or 26 to correspond to the rear wheel diameter of the wheelchair. For 22-inch or 501 wheels, you'll use the 24 clamp. You'll also notice a number of rubber inserts provided with your clamps. These correspond to the exact axle diameter of the chair and also give the clamp some grip to prevent it from moving or rotating during use. If you look at the sides of these inserts, you'll see a number of dots. A majority of the time, you will use the one or two dots, but refer to the chart in the axle clamp mounting instructions for which rubber insert corresponds to which axle diameter. When you put the rubber insert on the axle, you want there to be only a small gap between the ends, as shown here. After checking the gap, you'll want to rotate it down so it's toward the ground. Now it's time to install the clamp. Making sure the clamp front isn't upside down by looking at the max on it, simply position the back and the front over the rubber insert and begin to tighten the two screws. But don't tighten them all the way down as the clamp position and orientation are critical. For this, first measure and adjust to make sure the clamp is in the middle of the axle. Next, looking at the bubble level provided with the clamp, Orient the clamp so that it is perfectly perpendicular to the ground. If the clamp isn't perpendicular, then that can create some problems. When the clamp is installed or rotates down, it doesn't allow for the drive unit to completely engage its extrusions. In this circumstance, you will see the drive unit waddles behind the chair, which can make it unnecessarily loud. You also run the risk of the drive unit coming completely off the chair, which is never good. Once the orientation is correct, really crank down on both screws to make sure that it is fixed on the axle and it won't move over time. One final check of the bubble level for correct orientation, and then you can take it off. Whenever handling your drive unit, you'll want to be sure your wristband is turned off. To put a smart drive on the axle clamp, you will need to hold the drive unit slightly higher than horizontal, then simply lower the front end over the extrusions in the clamp. Next, rotate it down by letting it drop under its own weight, hit the power switch to turn it on, then you're ready to transfer into your chair and go.